वेलकम बैक टू मई चानल हेलो स्टूडेंट इवीएस लास्ट क्लास वी हव लर्न दट हव वी शुड क्लीन हव वी शुड क्लीन द वाटर अंड हव वी शुड स्टोर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर वी हव लर्न नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न पेज नंबर फोर्टी एक्सरसाइज पार्ट इन देज नंबर फोर्टी वॉट द वाटर ड्रॉप इज से वी आर गोइंग टू सी टूडे then it is saying here is one activity is that the water drop is asking us children measure how much of water you need every day and write it here here we have to see this one daily work for to perform all these daily activities our household works how much of water we are using number of glasses or number of mugs or number of pots or number of buckets what are these daily works we'll see washing hands legs and face face in the morning to wash our hands and legs how much of water how many number of glasses we are using or number of mugs how much we are using we have to mention here next for drinking for drinking how many number of glasses you will use next bathing for bathing glasses we won't use mugs also no we use buckets one bucket we'll use next washing clothes for washing clothes mother do this work so she may use i think so three buckets next washing dishes how many number of buckets she will use two or three mopping the floor to mop how much yeah buckets not mugs not pots buckets only one bucket toilet cleaning to clean the toilet mostly we want two buckets other for other purposes maybe number of glasses maybe we may use for one glass we may use or number of mugs two maybe pots we won't use for other purposes glass of water or mugs of water for other purposes toilet for going for toilet sorry sorry for total this everything total you have to count and write how many number of glasses you are using how many number of mugs you are using how many number of pots how many number of buckets you are using we have to mention here understood next the water drop is asking us do you know how much of water you will use at home or how many number of people are there in your house he is asking total together how much of water you will use he is asking to us okay next it is asking how much of water do you need in your house in a day write it here it is asking so number of the family members of the family i my mother my father my brother sister grandfather grandmother others total then so mama how many glasses she will use and max so how many how many number of max she will use in pots how much she will use in buckets how much she will use are you how much she will use you have to write it here and then total it next we move on the next it is asking now you have now you come to know how much of water you are using at home it is asking to us all total family members how much of water is using it is asking to us then dear children you have understood now how important i am now you understood how important i am we learned in this lesson how um, sources of water and then uses of water then after that from where we are getting water this everything we have learned then how to store drinking water where we store water for every day purpose everything we have learned in this lesson now you understood now how much important i am the water drop is asking to us remember i am needed not only for you but also for the living beings like not only for you not only for you we are all living on the earth all living beings need water so use it carefully don't waste me the water drop is saying to us just as much as you want only that much you use me don't waste me it is saying to us the children are giving reply all right drop of water we will always remember what you have told us the after that children it is time to go home convey this to all others at home let us meet tomorrow what to convey the water is very precious we must not waste water that message we have to tell to our family members then the children replied okay drop of water bye bye we meet you tomorrow they told okay, students what we have learned in this lesson lesson number 4 the story of a drop of water what we have learned sources of water we have learned from where we get water for our household work we have learned from where we are getting water after that necessity and quantity of water for a day how much we will want for our daily task we have learned then after that materials that are used to prepare the vessels that we store water we have learned next understand the safety measures to be followed in a storing of water we have learned then how to use the water we have learned we must not waste the water it's very precious this is the chapter the story of a drop of water okay bye bye